weekend we are back this is arrow season eight episode six more than halfway through the final season i'm not ready i kind of hope this is better than last week last week's wasn't terrible it just wasn't my favorite so i'm hoping this one's a little better i don't know i forgot what this episode is even about but oh we're probably gonna pick up with the whole lila thing so that's gonna be interesting oh god that's gonna be heartbreaking for diggle so yeah i don't know what's gonna happen but i'm excited to find out yeah but lila but Ben said it was all just a big misunderstanding. Uh, pfft. Nah. Uh, what do we do with Bureau's plan for the weapon? You say we didn't need it anymore. What? Why? The monitor's still out there. Still monitor there. did something. Hey, Dad, are you okay? You, you look like you don't remember any of this. Yeah, the monitor did He The monitor did something. I need to. dreams, maybe. Oh, it's Quentin! What's the matter, Oliver? You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh. Fuck. Four minutes in and I'm getting emotional. Fuck this. Naturally, I think you're already in trouble. And he's the one holding the bow. Put it down. This is over. This isn't over until you stop it, Oliver. That's the only way out. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Huh? I didn't think you were gonna make it. Yeah. Can we hug? Okay, honey. Hug. Hug him, Laurel. I'm just really happy to see you. I'm happy to see you, too. Well, I gotta say, I'm glad you let the black lips get home tonight. You know that I'm like, too. We did it. Good. Okay, fine. You did it. Yeah. So, is that it? We stopped the bomb. What the hell are we still doing? That's not it. Damn it. Shit! Oh, they're gonna be watching die again. Fuck that. Oh god, here we go again. I told you that was a big misunderstanding. Oh, Milo dropped the act. The second I get out of this sadistic Edge of Tomorrow reboot, I'm going to make sure to tell everyone exactly what kind of traitor you really are. Laurel, I truly have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my god, Lila, you're full of crap. Whatever you're feeling toward me. That's on you. Thank you for the advice, Dr. Phil. <laughs> and now here's some for you. The next time you decide to double cross someone, don't pick a woman who specializes in revenge. I love you, Laurel. You're threatening me. Yes. Yes, I am. But don't worry, you won't remember anyway. And by the way, I pull off the short hair way better than you. Huh? <laughs> I didn't recover. No. Who are you like? To save me. That's where I could have gone. Oh. What? I'm oh, sorry. I basically just told you you're a ghost and you're completely okay with that. It doesn't. He doesn't care if he dies as long as it's for the one that he loves. I got a cheated death with that one. Just ask because I didn't. Bitch, that's tricky like that. I'm gonna cry. Oh god, please don't be another bomb. Of course. Oh, wait, we're not dead this time. Please don't reset. Please don't reset. We're good. Lila. Right? It's Lila. Yeah. Helping you. You're missing the point, Oliver. You can't fight this. Don't you dare. Oh, that's fucked. Oh, not again. How many times are I gonna watch him get shot? Fuck that. I'm not giving up on you. I'm not giving up on you. You never gave up on me. You believed me with nobody else. What is what that to do? Aww. I don't know. You were the reason. Stop, you're making me emotional.
So it's like unfinished business? Get me out of here right now. I can't do that, Oliver. Marno will need you to understand. No good will come from struggle. The only way to win is to accept the inevitable. I have no idea what that is. Learn that. This will end. Oh my god. Did he get shot again? Please say no. Oh, that was cool. Please say he didn't get shot again. I think he did, but I think it was like in the lower area this time. Oh. Maybe in order for him to get out of this, he has to let Quentin go. To let him die. He hadn't fully made peace with the fact that he's gonna die, and now he's making peace with it, which is gonna break the loop. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have to say goodbye to you again. Yeah, can we goodbye. not talk about it? You just get started. Uh, um. Yeah. You complete your final mission. What's his final mission? What's the final mission? Do I even want to know what the final mission is? Lee and you. You okay? They're on Lee and you. I have a killer headache. Because it was confirmed Yao Fei's coming back and we're supposed to be getting a Lee and you episode. They're on Lee and you. That's the final mission where it all started. Where it all started. This is the final mission before crisis. I'm scared. Get yeah, back to this wretched island. One more till crisis. <laughs> I've been fighting my feet for a long time, and I can't change. I'm gonna save the multiverse. Yeah. So that my kids actually have a world to live in. Yeah, I don't know more stories about the Green Arrow to tell. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, we're back on the NU. I didn't realize it at first, but once I saw, like, you could see outside the windows, like, the leaves and everything. Like, just the color and the outline. That's what I immediately knew. Oh, we're on the NU, because it was confirmed we're getting a Lee NU episode, and Yao Fei is supposed to come back, so... It makes... It's fitting for the final mission to be back where it all started, so. Oh, God. Last week, or not last week, next week is the last episode till Crisis and I'm fucking scared. Oh, God, I keep waiting. I keep thinking, is the Anti-Monitor going to show up in the first part of Crisis or is he going to show up during Arrow, like the last episode of Arrow or Flash before Crisis? Oh, God. I, 
either way, I feel like he's gonna make himself because they're hyping it up. So I feel like that he's gonna make himself known either on the Flash or Arrow that he's the great evil that's coming. But no, more than likely he won't come until Crisis actually happens. So part one probably. Uh, so that was a really good episode, honestly. Um, it was so it was really good seeing Quentin again. The t the whole time loop thing that reminded me because Legends Legends of Tomorrow season three or was was it four? Oh no, it was three. <clears throat> Legends of Tomorrow did the exact same thing in season three with Zari. The whole time loop blow up. Here we go again. It was like the exact same thing. Um. Uh, so yeah, the whole the, that moment with Le Laurel and Quentin that was emotional, and then the moment with Oliver and Quentin it made sense why that happened because it was like. Even though Oliver was willing to die, he hadn't fully made peace with the fact that he has to die, so that was what it basically was. So, like, they all think the Monitor is bad, which he's not exactly my favorite person in the world, but the Monitor isn't the bad guy here. He, yeah, he he can be ruthless and very vague and a bit of a douche, but as douchey as he can be, it's all... He genuinely is trying to help save the universe. He's not bad. The real evil is the Anti-Monitor. God, I'm really scared for Crisis, because... Like... Ever since Elseworlds, I knew it was going to be Oliver that uh, was going to die. Because even though we didn't get the actual confirmation it was going to be Oliver until the Season 7 finale, ever since Elseworlds, where all, where all the details we got was Oliver made some kind of deal, that's when I knew, because in the comics it's Barry and Kara, but Supergirl and the Flash are not going anywhere anytime soon, because the Flash is, I think it's the CW's most popular show, and Supergirl is not going anywhere, and Supergirl hasn't even, like, mentioned Crisis or built up to it, so I don't think Kara might die, like, I said, Kara might die, but it's not permanent, so neither is Barry, so ever since Elseworld, I just knew the deal was going to be Oliver Trades Places, so, and the season 7 finale confirmed it, so. And unlike, like, I know the Arrowverse, with Death in the Arrowverse, most aren't permanent. People always come back. This is gonna be permanent. This is gonna be like a no coming back thing. He's gonna die for real. And um, it, it's gonna hurt. Like, don't get me wrong. The Arrow Season 7 finale, that shit hurt. With Oliver and Pulaski, that was the most, that was one of, like, the most powerful moments in the entire show, and that hurt. I bawled my fucking eyes out. Crisis is gonna make that look tame. Part 3 is confirmed to end on a cliffhanger, which I think is going to be Barry and Kara getting snapped. Maybe a few other people. It's like Infinity War style. And they'll come back in the final part, Oliver's going to be the final death. Obviously other people are going to die too, but yeah, Crisis. Watching Oliver die is going to hurt. Even Barry and Kara is going to hurt. Like, Barry and Kara, they're temporary deaths, and they're going to hurt me like a truck hitting me in the face. But Oliver's though. Oliver's is going to hurt. Like hell. Like, picture all the emotional intensity in the season 7 finale. That's nothing compared to Crisis. God. I'm scared. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. That was Arrow Season 8, Episode 6. Overall, really good episode. I'm just pro now processing the fact that we only have four episodes left in the season. Three, not counting Crisis. And then that's it. Like, I know we'll still have Air, or The Flash, Supergirl, Legends, and we have Batwoman now. I think the reason why it's so emotional that Arrow is ending is because is, is Arrow was what started it all. Arrow was the beginning of everything, so it's what makes it even more emotional. God, I'm not ready. We've known for months for all, that Oliver's gonna die. And I'm not ready for it. And obviously other people, like, Oliver's not going to be the only permanent death. Other people are going to die, too. Because of an event like Crisis, people are going to die. <sighs> as long as it's no one I like, I'm good. <laughs> well, anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know what you thought of this episode and what your theories are on for next week and for Crisis. And I will see you guys next time.